Hey folks, Wish SE up here in New Hampshire. Wanted to do a really quick review of a 22 revolver made by Heritage Manufacturing. This particular firearm is really on the low end from a cost standpoint, less than $200. It comes with two cylinders, both a 22 long rifle cylinder and a 22 magnum cylinder, allowing you to shoot two different um, you know, loads basically through the same gun. It is a single action revolver, meaning of course we have to cock the hammer manually and then the trigger actually will drop the hammer. The gun does come with a safety on a revolver, yes. Protect the lawyers, right? So this safety, when it's up, it's on and it prevents the hammer, even if dropped, from uh, being able to strike the firing pin. Fit and finish of the gun are okay. Again, you get what you pay for. The most uh, beautiful thing are the grips. Uh, but you'll note that there are gaps here on the gun in terms of where the grips join the gun. So it's not a Smith, it's not a Colt, it's really just, it is what it is. It's a very good training tool, particularly for new shooters who are not comfortable yet um, working uh, a double action trigger or even a striker fired gun. So what I like about this for new shooters and young shooters is when we're teaching them you know how to shoot it's not until the hammer is cocked and their finger then is on the trigger when their sights are aligned that they're dropping that trigger pressing the shot and it requires that manual action each time and therefore I believe this is an inherently safe way to train new shooters and one of the reasons I have it in my bag of gear. So we're going to fire a couple of shots and give you guys um, a sense of, of our accuracy. I found the gun to be printing a little bit to the left. In fact, about two inches to the left. So the question is, what do you do? Well, you adjust your front sight. And hold of that to the right because this gun here does not have the ability we have no we have very rudimentary sights so there's a channel here and a front sight so that means my front sight I have to manually move it over in terms of my sight picture downrange so unloading the gun now that we've we've cleared it we're going to press on this ejector rod here which is on this side of the gun we're, we've got our uh, hammer back at half cock and we're just manually going around each time and pressing that lever down which will then eject the casings. So that's our group. My hold was dead center on that two inch square there. So you can see we're about an inch to the left. I am four yards away from our target. So we're going to do that one more time and then we're going to switch to the 22 Magnum and give you a sense of that. Okay so we've got our target out there Again, at four yards, we're just going to, I'm going to adjust my point of aim to the right and see if that makes a difference. Swapping out the cylinders is, is really quite easy. It's a matter of flipping the loading gate up, pressing this button right here, this little knob right here, and then pulling out this rod that runs underneath that holds the cylinder in place. So pop that up, pull this cylinder rod out, which is that piece, and then we can just rotate the uh, cylinder out of where it is right here. There we go, there it is. So now what we're gonna do is we'll put in the 22 Magnum. So now, you can see here's the gun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the 22 Magnum cylinder, which is right here. It's marked on the side, 22 Mag. You obviously wanna make sure that if you're gonna shoot the 22 Mags, they're gonna be in this, and then if you're gonna shoot 22 long rifle, you're gonna use the other cylinder. So we just drop the cylinder in, right? Just like that, it'll go click. We're going to run this rod right back in along uh, just underneath the barrel here. Got to push that button out a little bit, just to align things up and pop it right in. Okay, folks, just from a comparison standpoint, you can see there's the two cartridge. So that's the 
22 long rifle and next to the 22 magnum. turned out I'd only loaded five into the magazine and you saw my slight flinch there so that can happen to anyone. Again, I'm going to eject these rounds out. Um, what you find with the 22 Magnum being so much longer, you really have to drive the ejector rod all the way through and then use your finger a little bit to pull it, pull it out the last little bit. Well, there you have it. That's five shots, single action at four yards. Um, and uh, my point of impact is to the left of my point of aim. So I'm going to load up another five rounds. We'll do the exact same thing. And I will shift my point of aim uh, one inch to the right and just a little bit higher. And we'll see how we do. Okay, I'm now moving my point of aim to the right of where we're shooting. See, I'm still a little bit low, so let me bring up my point of view. And you can see uh, from our group there, we are not going to win any um, bullseye championships with that group. Well folks, that's it. That's a quick review of the Heritage Manufacturing Rough Rider, the 22 single action pistol that comes with both a 22 long rifle cylinder and the 22 magnum cylinder. For the budget gun that it is, I think it's a pretty darn good deal. So less than $200, two cylinders, fit and finish is okay you know probably a B minus in my opinion but for training new folks especially those who have never fired a gun at all a single action revolver is a great tool to have to train people with I want to thank you all for watching and as always stay safe